Just got my new 100 watt solar panels in, 200 watt solar panels from New Power. So I'm really excited, gonna open them up. Okay. Well, I opened them the wrong way. Here's the back. Incidentally, they have these MC4 cables on them, that's good. There's the specs. 100 watt, 17 open voltage, five amps, a little bit over. So let me turn this around. All right, so here's a 100 watt panel. And now we're gonna do a little testing on it. Incidentally, I'm gonna put a link below where you can get these. Uh, they were only $83 uh, for a 100 watt panel. So anytime you can get one over a dollar, under a dollar watt, you're doing good. So these are only $83 and I'll put the link below. Okay, let's hook up our volt and a meter, multimeter, and let's see what kind of open voltage we have. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, I'm getting 22.5 open voltage. So that should be good. Now we'll test the other one and then we'll explain to you the difference between parallel and series. Alright, got the same out of the second one, a little higher, 21.7. So that's good. Now let's, let's discuss the difference between parallel and series. Okay, it's real simple. In order to do parallel, all you have to do is just hook these up and these up to your main line, meaning that you're hooking each one separately. So you'll have 21 volts open circuit here, and 21 over, over here, but when they're hooked together uh, uh, to the same source, then you'll still have 21 volts over both of them, but you'll increase the amps double. So there'll be 11 amps open circuit, and, uh, open uh, with no load instead of 5.66 for each one. Now, if you hook them in series, which I'll show you how to do for series, you keep the negative here, the positive with the red circle on it goes in the negative here. And these MC cables, you can't mess them up. They have to plug into each one. That's why these MC cables are so, so these would be hooked together and then this would go out to your source, to your positive. So once you do that, then you double the voltage to 30 some open circuit or 40 and but your amps stay the same so let's go hook these up okay uh, before we hook these up we got to put these mounts on now i ordered these mounts off the internet and it keeps the panels from being directly put on the rooftop you don't want to put them on the rooftop because the heat will uh make the voltage drop so i ordered these mounts i'll put a link below on where you can get them uh it's real simple and it makes it uh more efficient it's hard to do this with one hand and I won't even attempt it, but here's how it goes. Right like this, and then this hole and this hole will screw onto the roof. Uh, you know, this is backwards right now, but it'll lay down, screw on the roof, and then you'll mount it to the, to the uh, um, border here. Okay, and there's the finished product. And now they're ready to mount. Again, I've got a link below on where you can find those mounts. Makes it very convenient. And let me do the other panel and then we'll put them in. Okay, I'm up on my roof. And it's an overcast day. It's pretty, pretty bad out. But uh, we're going to go ahead and install these. And I'm going to put them in series, which means I've already got underneath here. I've already got my positive that's coming out into these, which is positive. And so these two are in series, and then they're going to be paralleled with these two. So I'm going to have series and series. So let me go ahead and hook these up. I'm going to try to do this with one hand, but incidentally, these MC connectors make it so handy because behind there, I'm going to be plugging this in to the, the only way it can go. I don't know if I can do that here. Okay, well anyway, that's I couldn't do it with one hand, but you push this in and then they're connected. They, don't, they can only go one way. I'll hide this 
and now the other one that's coming needs to go into the to the uh, ground and then we're live all then I would have to do is bolt these down to the roof so let me get get started on that and we'll get it all done and we'll go in and check it on the grid tire inverter so in this kit I was telling you it comes with these screws that have if you look real closely you see the the silicone uh, washer so that keeps when I screw it in there that keeps the rain from coming in your roof so real handy to have that complete mounting kit again I'll put a link below on where you can get these but it makes it so much simpler Okay, so there's the finished product. Now, I do realize that that's not optical way, optimal way to put solar panels on a roof. They're supposed to be facing due south. Uh, they all should be on one side. But I'm trying to get about eight or nine up on this little storage shed. I do not want to put them on my roof because I don't want to drill holes in my roof and because I, I don't know how long I'm going to be here. I probably won't be here more than five more years and I just don't want some the next person to have to deal with holes in the roof or whatever. So I thought I'd just put it on the storage shed. So now I've got four panels up there. Uh, let's look and see what the grid tie inverter is doing. We'll see if we can spin the meter backwards. Okay, YouTube. Well, got a pretty day out there. It's kind of sunny. So I'm getting 140, 145 watts from the two solar panels. Uh, <clears throat> it's still early, it's not even 11 o'clock, so that should increase as the sun gets higher in the uh, sky. Getting 30 volts. Uh, I've got this uh, onto this grid time burner. I'll put a link below uh, the video on where you can buy this. It's 600 watt. It is uh, converting the DC from the solar panels to uh, the inverter, which is making 120 some volts, which goes back in to uh, the grid. And as you see, it's done $12.06 uh, since I've had the panels up. Uh, so, you know, this just helps save money on your electric bill. Uh, incidentally, I'll put the link to this little meter here, 150 amp, and uh, it's given about 5 amps. Um, so there we are. That's what you can expect when you have the solar panels up on your roof, uh, even a limited amount uh, that I have. Okay, there it is. It's all but slowed it down to a trickle. Uh, I'll accept that. That's pretty good. That's going to save me a lot of money. So that's what you can expect with solar panels and a grid tie inverter where it's putting the energy back into your home and to your grid. And so the house uses what comes out of the grid tie first and then the rest, you know, goes to the utility and you pay for what you use. Obviously, it's still moving forward and not backwards. But that's pretty good. That'll save me some money this month. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe.